Isabel Trevada. Hello, Mr. Ordegorin. Oh, please call me Alva. <laughs> and your friend? Kate Tannen, friend of the family, sir. Welcome, welcome. Please join me in the sitting room. We have met once, but you wouldn't remember. It was in Rome. Your mother and father were meeting there for a holiday. You were about 10 years old, as far as I can remember. Well, I was hoping you can help me with the mystery. My father kept a journal of his travels, which he gave to me, sort of a sentimental keepsake. It was valuable to me, but not as far as I know to anyone else. Someone broke into my place and stole it. The journal? The journal, nothing else. Did you know about the journal? I believe I do remember. I'm forgetting my manners. Would you like a cup of tea or coffee or something? Oh, like no, thank I'd you. Fancy a cup of tea if you don't mind. Of course. I think we need to cut this visit short. He's a friend of Papai's. Your Cisco friends don't like him. We can't leave yet. Where are you going? Tell him I had to use the bathroom. What am I supposed to do? Ask him about his hobbies or something. Hobbies? With a guy that looks and acts like a vampire? Oh, yeah. Hey, Elva, nice teeth. How do you get your skin to look so gray and pale and long fingernails? I have security, my dear. Ironically, it's Cisco technology, your old company. That's a lot of security for an old house, but I have many buildings on this property. We didn't have to change the lighting or the wiring. Much better than the old system. And Henrik is watching us. You stole the book? I would have preferred to have remained in the role of protective uncle. Is it really good? Oh, great. Interview with a vampire. If you're thinking of attacking her, just so you know, she collects martial arts like you collect these coffee cups. Uh, karate, Aikido, what was the other one? Mr. Tannen, I'm far too old for physical violence. I have other people to do that for me. Sigis Terrace. I have eyes and ears all over the world, Isabel. You won't get far. Run! 